Hey guys, uh, it's Ryan, the Angry Veggie Punk here. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know, um, this, this isn't the <laughs> official launch or anything like that yet. Um, I've just seen a couple of things today that really, really got me going. Uh, so I, I wanted to take a minute to talk about them kind of as a, a preview of what we're going to be getting into here uh, on this channel. Um, I've seen a lot of posts today on uh, Facebook, uh, people, new vegans who are facing abuse at the hands of older seasoned vegans. And you know what guys, this, this really gets me because these are people that are, are new. Yes. They're trying to make a change for the better in their lives and we're beating them down how can you possibly think that that is something good for the vegan community we need to kind of band together and not be so divisive amongst ourselves that is just the stupidest thing we can do you know, uh, there's, there's strength in numbers sort of thing. You know, this, it makes me sick. It makes me absolutely sick because you have these, these people who are reaching out, just trying to get help, trying to get advice. Uh, you don't know that there are certain ingredients that come from animal products. You know, we, we all read the ingredient labels like crazy and yes we know you know oh red 40 comes from bugs or you know whatever people don't know that and that's the point that's why companies do that you know if if you said contains smushed up bug parts people wouldn't eat freaking m ms you know <laughs> it Bugs are disgusting to people. Um, you know, so so be supportive to these new people. Don't don't sit there and act like you know you're all high and mighty vegan person. You know, yeah, you're awesome. You're one of the greatest people in the world because you're choosing to make a difference. But when someone else is making that choice and you just beat them down, it, it just doesn't make sense, guys. It just really doesn't. I mean, think about it. Think about when you first went vegan. If, you know, you weren't one of the few people that I've met that have been vegan their whole lives. You know, think about what would have happened if somebody treated you like that. You may not be vegan. I mean, some of these people are seriously saying, forget about veganism. And is that the right answer? No. No, it's not. The right answer is, fuck what anybody else says. Do it, whatever your reason is, do it for you. Now, I will say, you know, if, if you're going vegan as a, as a personal thing, it's probably not going to work. I'm sorry to say it, but I, I am coming from experience. You know, I, I went vegan for the first time back in about uh, 2012, 2013, and I did it for me. Um, it, it was purely for me. The animals were kind of an afterthought. Um, I, I, I slipped. I did. And, uh, you know, I, I was going back to eating meat and dairy and all that stuff for a long time um it you know it was probably about a year and a half thereabouts that i wasn't uh you know living the vegan lifestyle and even when i was vegan before you know i i didn't really i i looked at it more as a diet you know i, I kept using all the same products that i was using uh stuff that wasn't vegan stuff that I wouldn't touch with a 10 foot pole right now. Um, you know, this time it was about the animals first. 
Um, you know, yes, I lost a lot of weight. I lost 60 pounds um, since uh, maybe October. Um, I wasn't really keeping track, but I was trying to lose weight. You know, I, I hit 200 pounds. I was still eating an Omni diet, and I started to eat better. I cut out, you know, um, fast food, which is like the devil. I, I don't even really touch fast food right now, um, even even in a vegan way. I mean, I, I go to, uh, I don't know how split up they are, but, uh, you know, how dispersed they are throughout the country, but there's this place called Moe's, and they make, uh, you know, burritos, tacos, it's a Mexican restaurant, uh, Southwest Grill, uh, similar to Chipotle, which I'm pretty sure everybody is familiar with or they've at least heard of. Um, that's my, that's my fast food thing, you know, I, I go and I get a, a burrito, uh, usually once a week because I'm bad. <laughs> but I mean, other than that, the closest I've come to fast food in, you know, a good, 10 months is I went to Wendy's to get a baked potato a week ago, you know, um, but anyway, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked, you know, when I went vegan, I lost, uh, probably about 30 pounds or so. Um, I wasn't trying, I, you know, I kind of reached a weight that I was comfortable with. Um, but now I'm really comfortable with it. You know, I, I, I'm doing things that I never thought I'd do again. You know, I, I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. You know, I usually when I mow the lawn, I go out in, in a, in a uh, tank top. Um, cause I'm pale as fuck, <laughs> you know, Irish kid in, uh, central New York where we don't get a lot of sun tends to happen, especially when you're not confident with your body and, you wear t-shirts all the time. So just don't be a douche. <laughs> be supportive to the new vegans. They're looking to us for support. Will there be questions that you're like, come on, yeah, you know, duh. Yes, there will be, but answer them. And don't be condescending, don't just, Please, for the love of all that is holy, do not be condescending. It, it just, it's a turn off, honestly. All right, so that's kind of the end of my rant. I want input from all of you. You know, it's very important to me that you guys have input. You know, um, everything from your favorite recipes, your favorite foods, uh, stuff like that. Um, you know, so there's going to be a lot of good stuff going on here. I hope you guys really like it and really get something out of it because I'm definitely getting something out of it. I was actually going live on June 25th. Um, I'm, I'm working on the first episode right now. Uh, I've got it all written. I just got to shoot it and edit it. Uh, but I got plenty of time to do that. Um, I'm also going to do a live broadcast on that day to kind of launch the channel. Uh, and that's going to be talking about activism. Um, and not just vegan activism, although it will be very heavy on vegan activism, of course. Um, I'm going to talk about a couple other forms of activism um, and mention some high-profile activists that you guys may not have heard of. Uh, so that's just kind of a little... A little uh, something about what what I'm going to try to bring you guys going forward here. Uh, thank you all so much. Um, you know, there's already been a lot of support from vegan communities. Um, God, some of you are half a world away, but uh, you've been very supportive and I thank you for that. Um, we've already got a couple of subscriptions, a uh, couple of likes on the Facebook page. So if you haven't already, subscribe like comment uh you know give me feedback um all right guys so as i said i depend on your input here uh so send me anything that you want me to talk about any uh any questions you have um if i can't answer them i will 
do some research and get back to you on that. Um, you can give me input by going to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash angryveggiepunk. Uh, you can also send me an email at angryveggiepunk at gmail.com. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you later.